Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create AI images using Firefly. And that being said, this should be the landing page of Firefly that you should be seeing also on your end. And basically, this is the link firefly.adobe.com. Now, once you're here, there are a lot of tools to work out with. There is text to image, generative fill, text effects, and so on and so forth. But for this video, we're going to focus only on text to image. So let me just click on this one. After clicking that one, it will redirect me on this new landing page. Basically, it's a compilation of photos created from other creators. So if you want to use them as template, you can do so. If you hover your mouse on each one of them, you'll see the prompt that has been used to generate the exact photo. So for example, we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to focus on this text bar right here. I'm not going to use any template just yet. So let's start simple. A girl in a forest. Pretty simple right that. Click on generate. And now it will generate on a new landing page. Basically, this is the editing platform of Firefly. Now, while we're waiting for it to generate, I'm going to show you the right section. There are a lot of things to take note of here. As you can see, the model version is Firefly Image 2. Basically, that is Firefly 2. It's a very new version of Adobe Firefly. So aspect ratio is 1 is to 1. I can change this later on. And also the content type is right now is being auto. So auto mode makes content type choices for you. Turn it off, you want to make your own selections manually. So let's try turning it off right now. I'm going to stick with photo. And by the way, guys, visual intensity, if you're familiar with um, Build Journey, the stylars or how high stylish it is, this is basically it. So visual intensity is how it will reflect on your prompt. That's basically it. So if you, for example, let's maximize it right there and click on generate. Let's see the new results for this one. Now, while waiting for the new one, let's talk about style. So there are a lot of style to choose from here. If I want to click on this one, these are the style to reference. So imagine it being to image to image section. Basically, that's going to be it. And by the way, guys, this is the new photo regarding the maximum visual intensity. So I suggest play around with it. If I click the very low part, for example, like zero without, click on generate. Let's see how it works out. And then regarding the style match, it's basically image to image, as I've mentioned earlier. However, you can also upload your own image. So if I click on this one, I can basically upload my own image. Let me just choose the image that I want. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So generative match helps users apply a particular style to their prompts. So click on continue. So basically we're getting the style of this prompt that I've just, or rather photo that I just uploaded. And then that being said, let's now check it on the reference library if it's here. So welcome back. Before I get onto the image to image, please take note regarding the visual intensity right now. This is the zero intensity. Basically it's going to be more realistic. It's much more plain if you're going to ask me. And each of these photos are can be edited. As you can see right there, if you click on edit right there, you can generate the fill, show similar. This is another versions or variations of the photo. Used as a style reference. This is what I was talking about. You can use the exact style of this photo as a new reference on your new um, photo. So let's try it out right now. Let me just remove the uploaded photo that I got. Click on edit. Use a style reference. As you can see right there, it went on exactly over here. I'm going to bring back my stylerize. And basically, with this one, it will now reference on this photo. Let me just now click on generate. As you notice, I am now haven't changed my prompt even a single uh, moment right there. I'm still using a girl in the forest. And by the way, guys, regarding the effects, you can use them over here. So this is the thing that I like about Adobe Firefly. You can change the effects of the image. You don't just really rely on AI. With this one, you can input your own references. So these are going to be the new results regarding this new reference photo. As you can see, I think the girl is the same or similar looking. Basically, that's going to be it. So if you change the tone on this one, for example, let's try monochromatic. Everything I add here would be added on this side right here. So basically, these are the things added already on my prompt. Let me just try and generate right again with monochromatic and studio light. While waiting for it, let's look on photo settings. And basically with this one, 
this is gonna be field of view, shutter speed, and aperture. It's basically much more um, clear. And as you can see right there, this is automatic also. But for now, I'm gonna remain an automatic because I'm not quite familiar regarding aperture shutter speed. So I'm gonna let AI do the work for me on this si side of the section. So this is the new results regarding monochromatic and studio light. It's pretty good, especially this one right here, the first one. Now, for example, I want it right now. I can just simply click on this one, download or copy the link and send it to my friends. I can edit it on Adobe Express even further if I have Adobe Express. Now I can just simply click on download right there and click on continue with this one and you'll be good to go. So lastly, advanced settings. Let's talk about this one. So basically advanced settings is exclude from image. If you're familiar with negative prompt, exactly it is the same. For example, I'm um, blurry. Let's just say noisy, something like that. And basically with this one, click on generate. Now we've excluded those words blurry and noisy. So the image will now be more not blurred or rather not noisy. You get what I mean with this one? That's basically it. As you can see right there, it's much more precise. It's much more clear. Now I want this right here. Again, I'm gonna click download right here. Also, almost forgot. If you click on that, you'll see remove background right here. However, this one I think is for Adobe Express and add text and filters as they still fit. So Adobe Firefly is a one or everything in one AI generation tool. You can generate, also edit as you please. And with that being said, you can also change your model version right here if you want Firefly 1 and 2. But I suggest go for 2 because it's much more better. And by the way guys, I know free trial right now before I end this video, I want to show you the pricing regarding subscription. So let's click on upgrade. So this is going to be the paid plan for premium plan and premium plan Adobe Express. So basically for Adobe Express, you will have Firefly and Adobe Express AI tool or photo generation or photo editing platform. And that being said, 100 generative credits a month. And basically with this one, the best thing is there's no watermarks or Firefly. So I have an additional tip for you. For example, you want to get an image and get the reference or prompt. For example, remember the first template earlier? I am going to use ChatGPT for this one. Now, for example, since I don't have the paid plan for ChatGPT, I cannot upload the photo here. But if you have the paid plan, simply upload the photo, drag it right there, and simply ask ChatGPT to describe this image. And then get the text and paste it back to Adobe Firefly. Now, to show the example, I'm going to use Mid Journey. It's going to be this one. Now, regarding Mid Journey, you can just simply type the command describe and then attach the photo. Let me just use this one. Basically, that's it. Click on enter and wait for it to finish. So, the thing here, the idea is I'm going to get the whatever prompt Mid Journey give me and I'm going to use it on Firefly to get the exact photo that I'm looking for. So, I have four choices. So an animated female blue eyes, Ivy is a very beautiful anime girl, and so on and so forth. I think I'm going to go with the first one. I'm going to copy it like so. I'm going to go back to Firefly right now. So regarding Firefly, since this is a new prompt, I'm going to clear everything. So I, without doing manually, simply click on clear all right here, clear styles, and then basically remove this one. The excluded words, I'm also going to clear everything, basically start from scratch. So paste it over here and simply click on generate and let's see how it works here. Maybe I'll get back to you with this one. So welcome back. This is going to be the results and as you can see I have the original photo regarding where I asked me during to describe it. Anyway these are the results and if you're going to ask me it's much more better. We can see the real difference regarding the Firefly AI and the Mid Journey AI. How they work, how they think and how they produce images. On the Firefly, much more clear, it's much more cartoonic, if you're gonna ask me. Regarding Mid Journey or Lens Go AI, it's much more on the Pixar style. Anyway, that being said, this is how you get the prompt of any image and use them for Firefly. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.